Hi everyone, my name is Daniel Pilla and I'm a Principal Analytics Platform Architect at Click. Today, we're going to be talking about a new utility that you can add to your tool belt called Click Field Usage Automation for Click Cloud. This utility is composed of a Click Application Automation template and programmatically generated ClickSense app that allows you to identify unused fields and perform impact analysis. It uses only the native capabilities of Click Cloud and is a zero footprint solution, meaning that there's no additional hardware or software required. In this video, we will be walking through running this automation and reviewing its output. Instructions for how to import this automation are located in the README of the repository. Before we demo the automation, I'd like to start by talking about the App Analyzer for Click Cloud. The App Analyzer is an application that scans all of the metadata across all of your applications in an entire tenant. You can grab it from Click Community and run it inside of your tenant. And the reason I mention this is it's a fantastic place to identify applications that are prime candidates to be scanned by this automation. So if I navigate over to that application in my own tenant, there's two primary um, filters that you'd probably want to sort by. One could be the overall size of the application. So maybe applications that are encroaching that five gigabyte base RAM mark might be a prime candidate, as well as applications with a very large number of fields. So in this case, I've decided to choose the latter. So I've selected an application with over 400 fields, and I'm fairly confident that we are not using all of those fields in this application. So I'd like to scan it, see which fields I could drop. Keep in mind the application itself is only 700 megabytes in RAM, which isn't too large, but regardless, I still like to use this as an example to drop as many fields as I can. So given that, we can go ahead and open up the field usage automation. And here, all I have to do is select run and grab the app ID. So let's go ahead and grab the app ID of this application and copy it to our clipboard. We will select run. Now, again, all I have to do is paste that app ID here and I could go down and hit submit and I would get the output in QAA directly. Uh, it would be scanning the base sheets only and it's set to not generate any output app, which I could use for further analysis. So in this case, I do want to generate an output app. I will keep it with scanning base sheets only. So let's do generate output app, yes. And I'll call this demo uh, usage. If I leave the output app space ID blank, it'll just go to my personal space. And the using custom templates, that's if I had first generated this app, then I wanted to build my own sheets, my own visualizations, and use those as the source of my new template. I could put in that new app ID here. By leaving this blank, it's going to pull the default app template straight from the GitHub repository and build it automatically for you. So I'll go ahead and hit submit. Now this is going to take a number of minutes. It's a decently uh, large app. There's a lot of fields, obviously, and a, a decent amount of objects. So let's come back when this automation is complete. So the automation is now finished reloading, and we can see that there are quite a few fields that are in fact unused at 396. So again, all of the, the output that you would require for the drop field usage is outputted directly in the Click Auto App Automation itself. You don't necessarily need to generate that child app unless you want to do more detailed analysis, which in this case we do. So if we scroll down, you can see the detail for all 396 unused fields. You can also see a potential RAM savings estimate. In this case, it's quite high at 66%. So again, you can get that detail here where you can know that you can go down from 706 megabytes in base RAM all the way down to 235, which is quite significant. And here you have the drop field statement. So I could copy this entire statement, paste it to the end of my load script and drop all of those fields that this automation has identified as unused. Lastly, there is a full scan result log table. Uh, this is the bulk of the information that's actually written straight to the ClickSense app that an application is then built off of. Now, if I go ahead and navigate back to my personal space, I should see that application now inside of my personal area. So here you go, the usage demo uh, EA ops. Or actually, that might've been an old one. Let's do demo usage. There you go, so updated two minutes ago. 
I will open up that application. It's been automatically pulled from GitHub, uh, reloaded dynamically, and all of the sheets have been published behind the scenes. We'll open up this sheet. And here you can just see a much more detailed view of that exact same output that you saw in QAA. So you can see the unused fields out of the total fields, all of the potential savings uh, across the top. Here you can see a visual representation of that. And the bottom left, you've got the drop statement that you could copy paste into your load script. And the bottom right, you have the percentage of the unused fields total. So for example, this op history.id accounts for almost 25% of the total unused fields RAM. And dropping that field obviously would have a significant impact, whereas you have many, many other fields with a very small impact, which do add up. So if I take you know these top 10 or so, top 11 fields, you can see that I'm dropping you know 45% just by those, and the remaining you know uh, 380 odd fields take up a significantly lower portion of that of that RAM savings. Now, if we move over to the second sheet. The second sheet allows you to do impact analysis. So I can select you know, any number of these, of these fields. Let's just grab case created date. And I can see that it's used in eight objects, one master measure, two variables, and on two different sheets. I can kind of paginate over these to see exactly where they're used in the objects specifically, along with the master measures and see exactly where it's used inside of that master measure. If I go over to the following sheet, I can then see the, the detail right for all of the objects, variables, variables and objects, variables and master measures, and evaluate the, the individual detail of each one of those found. Keep in mind that I am handling uh, variable referencing as well. So if that field is used inside of a variable that's then used inside of another variable that's then used inside of an object, I'm tracing that all the way through. So I am handling nesting. Alternatively, what you might want to do is say, okay, well, let me look at fields that are in fact being used. So let's sum up and I want to look at the highest value of those. So let's select sort by field total RAM, field is used. And what I can see in this case is some of these highest value fields, right from a RAM perspective, given it's still pretty low at 50 megs roughly each, I can see that they're each only used once. So it might be an opportunity for me to go through to validate, well, is that actually needed? You know, imagine if this was one gigabyte versus 50 uh, megabytes, that might be something that you can consider to see, well, if I were to remove that field, it might only impact one thing. And if my users are not really ever accessing that or leveraging that, that thing, it might be a good candidate to drop. So again, just to recap, you can run everything directly in the app automation itself and not generate any app and just quickly get that drop statement. Uh, if you want a more cohesive and view that's drillable, right, where I can see the, the weight of each one of those and easily select them, potentially even dynamically uh, alter the drop statement, I can do so here. And again, on the, sec on the, the, the last two sheets, that allows me to do impact analysis to weigh the the actual uh, usage of those individual fields and variables across the entirety of the app. So I hope this was helpful and thank you all for your time.